Hey everybody, hope you're having a great Monday. Hey, if you had an amazing July 4th weekend, or if you didn't have an amazing July 4th weekend, we obviously hope for the best for you. But if you were gone and you missed what happened on our online experience or our in-person experience at Concord, hey, you need to go to our YouTube page, First Baptist Concord YouTube page, and you need to watch the message. It was an amazing message that, uh, that really was challenging, it was inspiring, and God moved through it. Uh, one thing that really hit me is this. Forgiveness is releasing what you think somebody owns, owes you. Forgiveness is releasing what you think somebody else owes you. And when I, when I heard that thought, I was thinking about so many things that I stand firm on. You know what? I'm not going to forgive that person, or I'm not going to forgive that company, or I'm not going to forgive that society, or those groups of people, or whatever. No, I, I'm not going to forgive them. And forgiveness, my unforgiveness was holding me back from what God was trying to do through those relationships. And I couldn't help those people anymore because of my unforgiveness. I couldn't serve those people anymore because of my unforgiveness. And I couldn't be there for those people if I held on to unforgiveness. And so on maybe this week, your comfort zone that our pastor was talking about yesterday, remember you need to go watch that message? Your comfort zone may be this, unforgiveness. Because you're so, you're so comfortable and so sure that those people deserve to not receive your forgiveness that you won't let them be freed of it. And really you're saying you think that you're holding them captive, but you're actually holding yourself captive. You're holding yourself back from what God is trying to do in your life. And I just want to, on a Monday, pray. And I want us to pray maybe for um, this, our community, maybe even for our country, maybe for this world that's around us, that the unforgiveness would not hold us captive anymore, but that we would learn to forgive each other and release each other from that and really release ourselves from it. Because it's so freeing when we let God move like that. So maybe just start with the people closest to you and let God move in your life with the ones that you say you love and release them from that unforgiveness. Because it's, it's about you thinking they owe you something. And maybe they do, maybe they don't. But look at what God did for us. Look at what Jesus did for us on the cross. And let him inspire us to step into freedom. Freedom in relationship. Freedom from unforgiveness. And maybe let's just think about that comfort zone today on a Monday. And what would happen if we forgave and we stepped into more and more freedom as we went through our life? So let me pray for us. And let's see God move this week as we forgive. God, on a Monday, on this Monday, Lord, I pray that we would see you heal relationships, that we would see you heal hearts, that we would see forgiveness come into our life as we say, you know what, you did that against me or, you, or I did that against you and we said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free you of that. I'm gonna free myself of feeling like I've gotta repay something that I can't repay. I can't get that time back. I can't get that moment back. I can't get that decision back. But you know what, God is good and grace and mercy are amazing and I'm gonna forgive. I'm gonna forgive and maybe you're joining me right now in prayer and you're praying along with me. I want you to think of the person that you need to forgive and maybe for the first time, pray for them by name and see God begin to move in your life through prayer. So God, I pray that as we're standing, as we're on our knees, as we're sitting in this moment with you, that on a Monday in July, maybe we've had the best weekend in our life, but it's Monday. And I pray that we would have an impact that would matter forever as we forgive. Because when we forgive, we, are, we begin to step into freedom. So help us to know what that looks like, God. And help us to step out of bondage. God, thank you for all you're doing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, thank you for joining me on this Monday. 
And as we step into this week, we're actually stepping into just kind of a, a different rhythm for us. We're still gonna have some amazing content, really God-given content throughout our week. So you need to go to YouTube, our YouTube channel, and subscribe to it. And we're gonna be going live on Tuesdays on Instagram and Facebook. And we're going live on Tuesdays to have a Tuesday conversation, a Tuesday talk. So be ready and look, be looking out for that. And uh, we're going to be talking about how the message on Sundays isn't just a feel-good message, isn't just a challenging message. It's not just meant to be left on a Sunday in that moment or whenever we're watching that online experience. Uh, it's not just meant to be left there whenever we watch it, but we're supposed to watch, join in, because it's not just about watching, it's about joining in and taking part and seeing what God does when we apply the message on these weekends or the message in our online experience into our actual weeks. Because this isn't just about hearing and having a lot of knowledge. It's actually about living it out and seeing what God would have for us throughout our weeks. That's what's happening on Tuesdays. I'm excited. Join us tomorrow at noon and Facebook Live and Instagram Live. Uh, we're excited about that conversation and how to bring it into the week. Also, on Wednesdays, we're having living room worship uh, going live on Facebook at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook, living room worship. We look forward to you having a worship moment in the middle of a week with us. And also on Thursdays, our pastor is starting a brand new podcast. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's time for you to go ahead and hear a little bit about it because it's gonna be amazing. It's called The Stretch. It's a leadership podcast and an inspiring faith podcast. And how does leadership and living an inspiring life come together in this thing I, th I believe we call faith? And Pastor John Mark is talking with people around our community, really, and, and people around our nation, and I believe even world eventually, uh, about what leadership looks like to them and how they can, we can live an inspiring life. So join us uh, this Thursday at noon uh, with our pastor, and the Stretch Podcast. We're so, there's so much happening um, during, uh, in this community and as we go together. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you go to a YouTube channel and subscribe again. And, uh, and let's see God move as we're united no matter where we are. Have a great, great week. <laughs>